Hi, everyone. Welcome to the second episode of our Ready for November conversation series, in which my office is working to address many of the ways Michigan is preparing for the November 3rd general election. And I'm very pleased and honored to have joining us today, Michigan's Attorney General, Dana Nessel. Uh, she is a brilliant attorney, uh, smart as a whip, and truly committed to ensuring that every voice is heard and that our democracy is protected for all. Uh, she's a former criminal prosecutor and civil rights attorney and the chief law enforcement officer for the state of Michigan. She and her administration spend every day representing Michigan citizens on legal matters, protecting residents and consumers, and defending our natural resources and fighting fraud. And I'm proud to announce that she and I and our respective offices are partnering this election season to support and protect our voters. Perhaps the easiest way to define that partnership is that my team at the Secretary of State's office will be focusing on voter education and the Attorney General and her team will be countering and prosecuting efforts to misinform our voters and other attempts at voter suppression that are more prevalent than ever before. So I want to start um, by welcoming the Attorney General to the conversation and uh, Attorney General, could you tell us more about your leadership and the work your administration is doing to protect every voter in the state of Michigan this year? Well, first of all, Secretary Benson, thank you so much for, uh, for having me on this and for your commitment and dedication to ensuring uh, fair, uh, free, safe in elections uh, for this fall. It's obviously a very important election to everybody. And I think that oftentimes people, uh, when they think of the Secretary of State's office, they most often will think about renewing their, their license plates or their license plates tabs or something of that nature. But um, you as our chief elections officer uh, play such an important role. And I'm very grateful to have you in the position that you're in right now and uh, your dedication, your leadership to ensuring that elections go as they should go uh, in Michigan this year and uh, throughout your term. So thank you for that. Um, well, I'd like to talk a little bit about really, I guess, what our partnership is, since you and I have been working together uh, for quite some time uh, to ensure the integrity of our elections. Um, and so what I'd like to say is that my department is committed to supporting all of your efforts as Secretary of State and the Michigan Bureau of Elections over the next couple months. And what we plan to do is we want to aggressively highlight voter security and integrity issues. Um, we'll be alerting voters to common voter suppression tactics as they arise so that people know what's happening and when they hear things, um, you and I are able to respond to that so that we can ensure uh, that people have, you know, I think the best way to combat misinformation is with proper education and information. Um, so we're gonna be working very hard on that. Everyone, I think around the country, around the globe, knows and understands that Michigan is really a key battleground in the presidential election. And because of that, you know, our state will likely experience multiple attempts to threaten voters, to frighten voters, and, and that includes um, whether they're voting on election day at the polls or, or if they've decided um, to avail themselves to absentee voting, which of course, thankfully now we have no reason absentee voting. And I know that you have worked very hard uh, and have dedicated so much of your time and your effort to ensuring that everyone who wants to vote absentee has the opportunity to do that. And no time, of course, is that more important than right now in the middle of a global pandemic. So we are going to be watching for any attempts to suppress the vote uh, or to intimidate voters. And we're gonna be taking quick action if and when that occurs. And we don't have to look very far for, um, you know, recent examples of despicable efforts to target our, our citizens, suppress and confuse, suppress voter turnout, confuse them about their right to vote, whether it's by mail or in person. Uh, a robocall was sent to uh, Detroit residents uh, with an attempt to lie to them about their right to vote by mail and what the implications are, or making up false implications. I know you can't talk about open investigations, but can you tell us generally how you handle such situations and what citizens should do if they hear misinformation or feel they may be targeted with an attempt to suppress their vote or others' votes? Well, yeah, and unfortunately, that, that is a perfect example of the types of things that I think we're going to be seeing more and more as we get closer and closer to the election. Um, and 
While you're right, I can't talk about the specifics of the investigation, please know we are investigating that matter and we are investigating it aggressively because we don't want to see that happen in the future. And anyone who is found to be responsible absolutely will be held legally accountable to the fullest extent of the law. So we do have a rapid response team that's in place. We're going to be prepared at all times to immediately respond to any of these uh, attacks on the integrity of our system. We're going to be aggressively pushing back. We'll be refuting any misinformation. We'll be pursuing evidence of violations of law. And I will say if anyone hears of anything at all that involves the election, that involves how a person can vote, that involves absentee voting, that involves uh, voting at the polls, the most important thing they can do is to contact your office and to say, hey, listen, here's something that I heard. I received a call and here's what the uh, person on the call said. Is that information true? Is it accurate? And I know that your office is committed to providing factual information at all times uh, so that if there are any questions, of course, people will know uh, what the truth is and what it isn't. But of course, um, you and I uh, have committed to going out and to providing as much accurate information as possible so that people can sort of you know, push away any of the information they come in that contradicts anything that you or I say or any other uh, trusted officials. So my team really has two components that we're working on. We have a legal team in place uh, that we put um, that we put together throughout the office, and and that team is going to be used to identify and research and pursue any and all legal action. Uh, and then we have a communications team that's also going to be alerting voters of their rights and identifying scare tactics in any efforts to suppress the vote. So really, whether it's your office or mine we are going to be on alert and we'll be prepared at all times uh, to combat misinformation and to provide accurate information. And that work is so critical this year. I mean, you, you know, we're in this time of great uncertainty where uh, there are so many things that change day to day and voters deserve to have the certainty and the clarity that our elections will happen this year. They'll happen on time, on schedule. They will have a right to vote in those elections, either by mail or in person. And I am thankful that so many voters voted, millions of voters voted in 2018, uh, not just to, to elect you as attorney general and, and to enable um, I and, and our office to serve uh, in, in protecting citizens' votes as a secretary of state, but also that they amended our state constitution to create a right to vote by mail for every citizen that ended up being quite prescient as we now uh, see many states following uh, Michigan's lead in enabling citizens to vote by mail for the first time. Uh, but what that also means is that while this year citizens have more options than ever before to vote, uh, they are new and we'll have millions of citizens voting by mail likely for the first time in our state. And alongside that reality, you have this misinformation flowing into our state, trying to confuse voters about their rights, confuse and, and, and really lean in the anxiety and uncertainty that so many are feeling right now in many ways uh, to, um, to, to make them feel that same anxiety about voting, uh, which is the, the antithesis of what people should really feel as you approach one of the most historic elections in our country's history. We want people to be proud to vote, excited to vote, confident that their votes will be counted and their voices must be heard. Uh, and so th this partnership is so important as we work together to use all the tools at our disposal to both educate every voter about uh, their rights, to ensure that they know they can trust our Department of State and their local election officials to, to tell them how to vote safely, securely, and reliably but also uh, that they know uh, where to turn and that we're going to be uh, uh, watching and on guard and your vote, your office will be working to protect those voters uh, as they work not just to cast their votes but to also combat the misinformation that will be they will be hearing on social media and through various other platforms uh, in the weeks ahead uh, and you know one of the things our office has, has created is uh, two websites obviously michigan.gov vote uh, is where is our portal where people can get answers to any information they need about voting. They can register to vote, catch, check their registration, request to vote by mail, find their polling place, find a local drop box, uh, and, and uh, track their ballot if they send it through the mail. Uh, but also uh, at the same time, we have michigan.gov election security, uh, which we have created as a 
website that will be updated repeatedly throughout the election season where citizens can go and answer their questions about the security of the elections as well. Uh, and then on top of all that, we recognize that our voices aren't alone in uh, delivering these, uh, this information to voters, protecting voters, educating citizens about their rights. We also have uh, recruited nonpartisan partners uh, who have uh, who serve as trusted voices in communities across Michigan to share reliable election information and new this year to a lot of those partnerships are our major professional sports teams uh, who all four of whom have stepped up uh, along with numerous other uh, civic leaders and um, and state and, and local officials uh, to inform every everyone about uh, their options to vote this year. Uh, and of course, uh, Attorney General Nessel, you're also working with, with partners as well. Can you, can you tell us a little bit more about the work you're doing to bring people together uh, to fight on behalf of all the people in Michigan? Yeah, well, I, first of all, let me say that um, I'm very hopeful that in terms of your effort to bring in, for instance, um, people from our sports teams uh, to broadcast this message that you'll be using uh, people from the Detroit Lions and not the Green Bay Packers as we know, unfortunately, that some of our um, constituents up in the UP are Packers fans. But, um, but as unfortunate as that is, I think it's amazing um, that you're, have, you've enlisted so many people that people uh, you know, recognize to talk about the importance of the election and to talk about the accuracy in voting. But you know, one of the things that we're going to be doing, you and I together, is really reaching out to community leaders all across the state um, because they understand that, you know, we are going to need their assistance in countering uh, this massive amount of misinformation or threats or any other efforts that we know are going to take place to suppress Michigan's vote. Uh, and, you know, we'll be enlisting their efforts to, to remind people, to reinforce and reassure voters of, of their safety, their security of their ballots and their voting rights, and that they have to know the right way to vote, and that if they take those, those measures, their vote will count. Uh, and so that's the, that's the type of information I know that we're gonna be doing with leaders all around the state so that as much uh, accurate information is out there as possible. And that's critical because you know, so much is at stake this year, so much is on the ballot, not just the election of, of the president, but the, uh, there's a Senate election on the ballot, there's congressional races, there are state Supreme Court races and, and many other uh, local elections uh, up and down the ballot and, and in many communities on both sides of the ballot. And so we want voters to be fully prepared, to be informed and engaged and ensure their voices are heard this year. And regardless of, of who they vote for, or how they cast their vote, we want them to vote and have their voice heard. And, and that's our commitment and that's our goal as we work to not just again, proactively ensure people know the ins and the outs and the hows and the, and the what's to, to vote this year, but also when they hear false information, wrong information, what to, that they know what to do about it. And uh, we actually have created an, an email portal, misinformation at michigan.gov, uh, which is one of the simplest ways that you can report misinformation that you may hear or just have questions about that you're not sure about. You see a tweet, you get a robocall, you get something in the mail, and you're wondering why did I get this and what does it mean? send it to misinformation at michigan.gov. That's an account that my team will monitor and when appropriate, refer reports to the attorney general and her staff uh, so that we can investigate in real time and efficiently respond to any attempts to confuse any voters about their rights this year. Uh, so our, our work is significant, uh, but of course the needs of our democracy demand it this year. And Attorney General Nessel, I'm really grateful to have you as a partner uh, because we need to um, ensure uh, and use again every tool at both of our disposals uh, to protect every voice and every vote this year. Uh, and I'm grateful for your leadership and thank you for joining us today. This is uh, this partnership that we're creating is going to be, you know, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of things around the state uh, virtually uh, in, in the, the weeks ahead. Uh, and thank you for stepping up. Thank you for leading. Thank you for being a partner uh, and for being willing to serve uh, and protect the people of the state of Michigan, as I know you do every day. Uh, I'm proud to be working with you and, and really grateful to have you in that office uh, as, as a leader and as a partner in this effort. Well, and thank you for all the great work that you're doing, Secretary Benson, and I really look forward to us working together even more during the course of the next couple months. Great. Well, thank you all also for watching. Please know that you can be confident that our uh, elections will be successful this year because of the 
significant amount of work we've been doing uh, since really both the Attorney General and I have taken office to protect the vote and protect our democracy and to build partnerships like this and others that uh, really will ensure that Michigan uh, is ready for November. So thanks again for tuning in today and we'll see you next week.